we're not playing music that we've rehearsed and then we are trying to play a good take of a certain piece. We're each time trying to find something new and it's really that feeling of the new happening in that moment that we're trying to cultivate. The rules in terms of how we play are really just that we're all responsible for a unique sound. So the basic rules of Western music, they're not really important. What's important is the, the attitude that the musicians take in order to go very deeply into these sounds and the sort of possibilities that they contain. So that, that does mean that there are no wrong notes and there are no wrong choices. Rich has done a lot of work out in the environment, playing with birds, playing in the fjords and playing out in the sea and really engaging in the environment. And I suppose that really comes into the music as well. That sort of simple space that allows for the environment to enter or for an imagined environment to enter. So the atmosphere becomes a big part of the music. Richard and I were big fans of Marilyn's music and um, invited her to come over to play, which she did. In fact, we ended up doing two tours with different sized groups. As the music progressed over those projects, it became sort of freer and more open and more improvised. When we started off, we had more playing songs and um, compositions. This trio music is really an evolution of that. but it's more sort of distilled and open. We didn't feel that we needed any compositions or tunes. So on the day of the recording, the music would begin with the choice of instruments was pretty much the starting point. I'm going to play this, Rich is going to play this, Marilyn's going inside the piano. Um, I think sometimes we would discuss what we would do if we're going to do, all do a vocal piece and would state our intention to do that. It was pretty much as far as it went. I think that's probably an important part of the process is being really open to allow the spontaneity to lead the ideas. For this music, the texture and the, the sounds, they become vital rather than say notes.
suddenly things become very exciting is when the, the musicians have complete trust that anything Marilyn plays is going to be great. <laughs> or that whatever I bring to it, I don't need to have any worries about doing something that's maybe going to be rejected for any, any reason. Sometimes someone may just continue with something because they feel that there's something worth breaking through and that I think becomes an important part of it as well, where ideas are free to be, you're free to abandon them, but there's also the possibility of persevering and pushing through something or push, pushing through a difficult patch. And often it's the, tr I guess, the trust that through keeping at something or pushing through it or exploring it further that there, be, that there may be something at the end of it, I think is a big part of improvising. That means that sometimes you have passages that really are unsettled or are difficult or have tension in them. There's not a, a hierarchy in terms of the how instruments should exist together. It's not always important that we hear each individual instrument or that the Tonga Puro is always on the top and able to be heard. That 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 becomes a if that was the approach then musically that that's a that's too restrictive. Dynamically, you know, we, the music needs to be able to uh, have, have no restrictions in terms of the materials that we're able to use. each time trying to find something new and it's really that feeling of 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 the of the new happening in that moment that um, that we're trying to uh, to cultivate <laughs>